Hi, and welcome back. So, this is my Gritty Grotty wash pan, or palette. And I wanna start using up what colors are left in here. Um, they have dried, and they're cracked, and they, the palette is all dirty. But I think I can figure out to use it up, maybe. I definitely need to activate the colors first. This is, by the way, Lucas uh, Art and Design Gouache. Most of it. Up here we got some Holbein and Winston Newton. But it's first and foremost this row down here I want to use up. So it definitely needs reactivating. And I know that that doesn't happen very easy. I had a go with them last night. And some of them are not quite dried out yet, but even after sitting for a an hour or so, they were still kind of dry. So they don't reactivate so easily, so let me give them a lot. And it's uh, distilled water I got in here. So I'm not adding extra chalk to to the equation. Not that we got so much chalk in the water here, but still, I'm gonna let it sit for a while and maybe add some more water. It uh, I expect it will take at least half an hour to an hour before they're somewhat workable. I'll be right back. So. These have soaked for an hour and a half. I'm gonna try and oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, let me grab a brush. See this is they they just don't dissolve. They uh, they keep being stuck into flakes. At least the weight is just completely hopeless. I think I'm just gonna scrub that one out and give up on it. And the same with the, the yellow. It just, even though there's plenty of water, see it's all just flakes and like that. This yellow too. It's soft enough, they, they are kind of soft enough, but they, they are, they just stick together. Same with the magenta, that's ruined as well. Cat red, same. Violet, same thing, just one big gloopy clump. Blue, other blue, green, same thing. Can't. Um, maybe that one could be reactivated. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's still green in my yellow ochre. No, it's just clumpy. And it won't go. Let go of my brush either, it sticks to my brush. Sienna, same thing. Black, no, these aren't worth uh, working with anymore. I am just gonna give up on this palette, I'm gonna go and just rinse it. And, um, and I'll, I'll do that now that, now that things are, are wetted and um, possible to get it out and I'll be back and I'll just use uh, some some fresh paint I'll be back again so <laughs> I now scrubbed out my grotty palette and uh, yeah it's made of plastic and uh, plastic stain I could get it cleaner with baking soda and vinegar but I don't feel like doing that today. But this is as clean as, as it got today. 
Um, it bothers me to throw out unused paint. So um, that is why I'm not ever going to try this again with any kind of, of gouache. From now on, uh, gouache is straight from the tube. And, um, or if I got little amounts like this left in a palette like that, thin layers like this can reactivate and be used. Um, what I think was the major problem in this one is that I put way too much paint in originally and every time I've been using this palette I've been rewetting that paint and I suspect that maybe the the binder reactivated and I've been using up all the binder and some of the pigment and what was left was mostly just cakes of, of pigment that now didn't wanna uh, reactivate anymore um, I don't know if this is correct, it is just my suspicion, because they've been harder and harder to reactivate over over time. So, uh, definitely a lesson learned on my part. And it really confirms my, my thought that this is just not a way to, to, to use gouache. Not a thing to do to them. Um, that can be done to at least some watercolors, but uh, I'm not ever doing this with gouache again. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think actually I'll just leave this video as it is because I've lost all interest in painting now. <laughs> I want to do something else. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this was one of these fail things I want to share because uh, I think it's uh, as important to share some of your failures and le hard lessons as it is to, to show off uh, everything that goes right. Thanks for watching. Bye.